Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new here. My name is Michelle. I create beauty content each and every week. And as you could already tell, today I am decluttering my concealers and I have quite a bit here. So I'm excited to just go ahead and jump right in. But before I do, I want to remind you that you are beautiful, you are loved, and you are worthy. All right guys, let's go ahead and jump right in. I have a tiny bin. It's a little, but it's a lot. Okay, there's, there's a good amount of concealers in here. And I don't even know, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab and not even grab in any particular order. And the first one I have is the Wet n Wild Incognito. I'm actually using this today and I forgot how much I love this. The reason why I don't gravitate towards this is because it's way too light for me. I think I have the shade light medium and this is light. Like this is very, very white under my eyes. And you probably can't tell today because I did end up darking it up. But this is a beautiful full coverage concealer. And this is very creamy, very blendable, and a little bit goes a long way. I am, however, going to get rid of this simply because it is way too light. Like when I put it on today, it was just white under my eyes and that is just not the look I'm going for nowadays. If it's your look, then by all means, go ahead and use this shade. I will, however, be repicking this up in my shade because I really, really enjoy this concealer and it's very affordable. All right, next up, I picked up the Milani Conceal and Perfect Long Wear Concealer. I absolutely love this. Absolutely love this. This truly does last all day long and it does crease as soon as you put it on. And, but once you set it, it does not crease. And you do have to use like a nice loose setting powder. I realized that that just helps it kind of look better on the skin. I don't know, maybe it's just me, maybe it's just my under eyes, but I do actually really love this concealer. It is full coverage and it does last a very long time. It's very matte and you do need to work very quick with this because it will like just dry underneath your eyes. So just keep that in mind if you're ever thinking about purchasing this, but this is 100% I am keeping. Okay, next up, I have the Revlon Color Stay Skin Awaken and I have two of these. So I have the shade 30 and then I have the shade 02. So 02 is like a pink shade that I use to brighten my under eye. And then this is my actual concealer shade. And I do use this with like other concealers if they're too dark and I wanna brighten them. These concealers are really good. I feel like they're kind of natural. They're really not too full coverage. They're not gonna last you all day long. I do actually really like the formula. I think it does look beautiful, especially if I'm going for like a very natural look. However, I hate the application. Am I the only one that like notices like the little puff they have on this? It gets like scratchy. So like putting that under my eye, like it hurts. I hate that they did that. I wish it was just normal applicator, but fortunately it's not and you have to squeeze the product out and I hate, cause I just feel like it's just wasteful. And I feel like the scratchiness on that little puff at the end, it's the previous time that I used it and it just dried out on he on the little puff. I don't know, it's just very uncomfortable. However, these are newer to my collection, so I will be keeping them. Okay, next one, this is like a cult favorite. This is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. And I honestly loved this when I first bought it. This is like my second or third tube. And for some reason, I just feel like this specific tube, it just did not look right on me. Like I just feel like it creased so hardcore and I've never had this issue with this concealer and I have not used this concealer ever since. And I don't know if I would repurchase this because I had got like a dud. This specific one I'm getting rid of. It's almost done. I don't even use this anymore. All right, then I have the Camouflage Matte Concealer. This is from Essence. This I purchased this when I did my Essence video. I actually really, really like this concealer. It does have a strong smell to it and it is very, very light for my skin tone. I got the shade Light Honey. There's nothing honey about this. There's no warmth to it. This is very, very light. And it's such a shame because I actually really do like this concealer. Since this is new and I am going into the winter months, I am gonna hold on to this. I do actually really like this concealer. It is full coverage. It is very creamy and it I feel like it lasts a long time. It does not crease once you set it. So I am gonna be holding on to this one. Another cult favorite, which is the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. I love this concealer. I truly, truly love this concealer, but it does not work for me all the time. It depends on the powders that I use. Sometimes it just gets super creasy under my eye, even after I set it. So I'm gonna hold on to this because I do really like it. I got the shade Golden and it is still a little bit light for me, 
but I'm hoping that with the winter months coming this will look just beautiful on the skin and match my skin tone. So I am gonna hold on to this one. Now we have the Haley Beauty's Rewind Blurring Full Coverage Concealer. I actually absolutely love this concealer. If you saw my review, which was about like a year ago at this point, I don't even know how long ago it was, this came like halfway full, like this was not fully full and it only came up to here, which is why I don't use it too much because I'm like, oh, I have a little bit amount, but I do really love this concealer. It is full coverage. It is so creamy. It does not crease under the eyes. I actually really, really love the applicator. It is a metal applicator and it just feels so nice and cooling under the eyes. I just hate that it didn't come with a lot of product in here. really love this product and it's such a shame that they don't sell it in stores because I hate buying makeup online but I think I might be repurchasing this one whenever I do run out because it is matte, it is long lasting and it looks beautiful under my eyes and it's actually a really good shade. I have medium neutral and it's not too light, it's not too dark, it works during the winter, it works during the summer. So I'm actually holding on to this one. All right, so next up I got the LA Colors Ultimate Coverage Concealer. This is in the shade Wheat. It's way too light for me, but I absolutely love this one. It's such a shame, like a lot of these concealers are way too light for me, but I love them. It does smell like paint, so just keep that in mind, but it just, it's so creamy on my skin and it looks so beautiful under my eyes. It does not crease throughout the day. I'm gonna hold on to this one, even though it's way too light. I, I like, I've fallen in love with this one. I don't know if you could tell, I have used it up a bit, but this one is staying in my collection. Okay, next up I have the Believe Beauty, and this is just their, it doesn't really say, it's just a concealer from Believe Beauty. I got this one from Dollar General, and this is in the shade Beige. However, this is way too dark for me. This is the opposite, I'm having the opposite issue, is that it is way too dark, but, Given that it's way too dark and that 90% of my concealers are way too light, I do mix this in with almost all of these concealers to kind of even it out. So I'm holding on to this. Um, I don't know how it works on its own, but it must be pretty good because I've mixed in. It looks really beautiful on. So I am going to hold on to this even though it's way too dark. It evens out all my light concealers. So I definitely need this. And then I have my ColourPop Pretty and Fresh concealer. I loved this when this first came out and this is like my second or third bottle of this. However, I just feel like I have so many concealers that I absolutely love and that I just gravitate more towards. Even though this is my perfect shade, I am gonna actually be getting rid of this one just cause it's just not working for me anymore. I don't gravitate towards it. It's no longer something I prefer. It's not full coverage, it's medium coverage I would say. I don't know, I feel like it doesn't last all day long. It doesn't really last a long time. It does end up creasing eventually. So I think I am gonna go ahead and get rid of this one from my collection. Lastly, I have the Sephora concealer. This, I actually really, really like this. It is very natural, it's my perfect shade. This is not full coverage at all, but it is very creamy and very buildable and blendable. I wouldn't say it builds up to like a full coverage, I would say medium to full-ish. I am gonna keep this because this is newer to my collection. I did purchase this during the Sephora VIB sale and I am actually enjoying it. I'm still trying to figure out which powders work best with this. So this is staying in my collection. So overall, I'm just getting rid of three concealers. That really wasn't the biggest declutter. I'm sorry. I have problems. I'm supposed to be cleaning house, but I am not. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any of these concealers, if you, what you think, if you like them, if you don't like them, let me know down in the comments below. And if you enjoy these kind of videos, please make sure you give this one a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. And don't forget to subscribe so you stay up to date with all my latest uploads. And as always, before signing off, I want to remind you that you are beautiful, you are loved, and you are worthy. All right, guys. Bye.